How much junk food is bad for health? To address that, let's take a look at this recently published study that looked at ultra-processed food consumption and risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So first, what is ultra-processed food? By definition, UPF, or ultra-processed food, is an industrial formulation that's made with no or minimal whole foods and processed with additives such as flavorings or preservatives. And visually, what that looks like is what you'd expect. Soda, chips, cookies, chicken nuggets, breakfast cereals. All right, so on to the associations. What's the association for UPF with risk of dementia? And that's what we can see here. So on the y-axis, we've got the hazard ratio for all dementia. So this is Alzheimer's dementia, vascular dementias, and all other dementias. And then on the x-axis, we've got ultra-processed food intake, which I'm just going to call junk food going forward in servings per day, and adjusted for calorie intake. So to address significance, we put a line at the hazard ratio of 1. Remember, where the dashed black lines are completely above or completely below 1, we have a significant association. And that's true for more than one serving of junk food per day. Now, that's significant because we can see that at all intakes above one serving per day, the dashed black lines are completely above that hazard ratio of 1. Now, interestingly, at high, relatively high intakes for junk food, Risk doesn't increase by little, it increases by a lot. And for this study, we can see that dementia risk for someone eating close to seven servings of junk food per day had a five times higher risk for dementia, the incidence of dementia, compared with someone eating no junk food. All right, so how is serving size defined? That's important to know so that we can limit our junk food intake to minimize risk for dementia, at least uh, starting off with this study. And that's what we can see here. On the left, we've got food groups. On the right, we've got calories or energy per serving. So note that one serving of crackers, 20 calories, but one serving of English muffin, an English muffin, 270 calories. One serving of a commercially baked cookie was considered 24 calories, which is like one bite, but one serving of a hamburger, 427 calories. So a little bit of screwy data in terms of all the foods on the list weren't homogeneous in terms of their uh, calories per serving. Nonetheless, junk food or UPF intake is also associated with cardiovascular events and all-cause mortality risk. So first, ultra-processed food is associated with an increased risk for cardiovascular events, and that's what we can see here. Cardiovascular events included atherosclerosis, stroke, heart failure, and CV, or cardiovascular mortality. And this is a meta-analysis of eight studies that included more than 278,000 people. The link for this paper and the previous paper will be in the video's description. So on the y-axis, we've got relative risk for having a cardiovascular event plotted against junk food intake in servings per day. And the, and the serving size for junk food was standardized better as one serving was equal to 50 grams of junk food per day. To assess significance, we put up the line at a hazard ratio of 1. And then once junk food intake gets to one serving per day, after that, we can see a significant increased risk for having a cardiovascular event. And note that the dashed black lines are completely above 1, so we have a significant association. Ultra-processed food is also associated with an increased risk for all-cause mortality. And that's what we can see here. In this case, this was a meta-analysis of nine studies that included more than 296,000 people. So to assess significance, once again, we put up that line at a hazard ratio of one. And here, there's a little bit more leeway. It's about one and three quarter servings uh, per, of junk food per day. We see a significant increase for all-cause mortality risk. And we can see that because the dashed black lines are completely above that hazard ratio of one, as indicated by the red triangle. So to answer the initial question of how much junk food is bad for health, based on these two studies, more than one to two servings of ultra-processed food or junk food per day is associated with an increased risk for dementia, cardiovascular events, and all-cause mortality. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a, got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, NAD quantification, green tea, epigenetic testing, also telomere testing, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing with SciFox Health, and note that their panel of biomarkers is almost exclusively different from the at-home metabolomics, including ApoB. Diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.